I'm live here on Instagram. I'm not going to be as crunk. I ain't going to be as crunk. I'm going to try to be civilized. Because I've been crunk on my other live feeds. And I'm going to act civilized. Hey, Lemon Melvin. What's up, sis? Where you at, sister Tasha? Dad me. The door Davis quiet. Yeah, I'm about to uh I'm about to hit the gym. Cause y'all know I'm working on um becoming a personal fitness trainer. That's why I got my CPR and I actually got certified to be a personal fitness trainer. But in order to be, you know, the best, I ain't gonna say the best because I'm no way. I ain't I'm just starting, but I wanna work my way up to it. So for me, I feel like if you're going to practice and preach something, you should be living it. You need to be the example of what you're telling people they need to be. So that being said, I have to live by what I'm going to teach. So everything always follows with nutrition, protein intake. So I haven't even had any food today and i'm going to use a meal replacement for my first meal so that way when i go to the gym i got something that i can work off of but i can't find i can't find my uh i have like a um you know the, the shake mixer this ain't mine this my son he's gonna let me hold this shit today yeah i'm feeling your i'm feeling your shaker I'm feeling your shaker bottle, Victor. I'm so proud of my son, y'all. They they gave him an option to uh, graduate early or get early dismissal. So I'm like, what you going to do, son? What's your plans after you graduate high school? I don't know, mom. I really don't want to go to college. Well, what you going to do then? Um, I'll join the military. Also, why you want to join the military? I don't know. I just, I want to learn how to be responsible and I want to learn how to survive and that to be honest with y'all I always wanted to go to the military for those same reasons and I think a lot of people that come out the military or went to the military you can place them in the middle of no mother sucking wear and they gonna make it out and that's a that's a hell of that's a priceless skill set to have so what I'm gonna do as far as my mixtures I'm gonna mix my pre-workout. This macro root, I got this macro root right here too. Where is it at? It's kind of nasty, but I think it's been working. Cause like, I know, I mean, of course I gotta build strength. So I know I'm not gonna be the best performer in what I'm doing. But when, since I've been taking the macro root, what the macro is supposed to do, it's supposed to give you more stamina, endurance, and over time give you strength. And I, 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 it's not like a huge notice, you notice the difference, but I do notice the difference. And it's called macro root. You can put this in smoothies, you can put this in drinks, or you can just make it as is. Sambo, Sambo. <laughs> But yeah, man, shit, I'm transforming. I still got work to do. I still got, I still got work to do. Like I'm trying to do a total body transformation. So I got, I ain't gonna say a lot of work, but see, a lot of times when I say I got work to do, I always hear people say, what's up, brown sugar? You been in all my life for you, girl. I ain't even know messages was coming in. What's up, quiet storm? Hey, beautiful sister. You still been working out? We should do. You, you could be my first client, Taj. You can be my first client. And we need to uh we need to do some more collaborations together, sis. Yeah, shit. Hopefully when I come see you um this month, you know, after my birthday, I probably come see you on my birthday. Cause shit, I ain't working at y'all no more. So a sister got freedom to do what she needs to do. And that is my whole plan to have financial freedom. I ain't got time to sit here and be bound to no company. Like I'm a freaking slave. That should be the goal. I mean, I ain't gonna fry. I, I don't mind. I don't mind working. But it sucks when that's all you do. Like, is that all life is about? Is work, work. I mean, of course you have to work. You gotta work. 
I ain't saying like don't work because you got work to pay your bills. Because if you don't work, your ass get put out, lights get cut off, keys won't eat, all that shit. <laughs> but you should have some common business goals. Some common business goals to be free. I mean, you bust your tail for as long as you need to to get started. But my thing is, once you get started, then it should be time to enjoy, what is it? Enjoy the works of your labor, baby. And I seen that post you posted on Facebook, Tosh. So you was like, uh, but she was like, she was like, I want to, I want to meet friends that have business goals to where we can go to Starbucks and talk about what we trying to achieve. You motherfucking right, sis. Sexy truth in the house. Caddy 57. What's up? Domatic. Nomadic. Domatic. No Christian. Jasper. What's up? The, what is it? Theora Davis. Hey. What is it? Hey, Domatic just came back. Where you came back from? Chef Tony. I'm from Baltimore. Where you from? I'm from Baltimore, Lemon. See what part of Baltimore are you from? You from the west side? Sultry speaking, Cali. I love motherfucking Cali. I can't wait until I go back over there for real. I'm just serious. Yeah, that's the devil, Sultry. Motherfucking don't. don't. <laughs> Let me see. So smooth. Juicy Jane. We got all the beautiful people. <laughs> All right, let me let me stop playing with y'all. Let me mix all this stuff up. I love. I'm, I'm glad that this refrigerator gets water, cause I definitely don't trust the faucet water at all. I don't trust that shit. So, let's see how. Huh? Gotta kind of shake it up, shake it up a little bit, and then finish filling it up. Then put the motherfucking ice in it. Nothing, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Hold it up. Gotta shake it up. That's what I'm saying. Like my uh my shaker. Cause you know these shakers got the little metal ball inside here. So that way when you shaking it up. Oh shit. Damn it. <laughs> but I'm saying when you shake it up, the metal ball is supposed to break up the clumps and stuff. Damn, I'm about to make a whole mess. I'm trying to get out of here to get to the gym. Not shower and protein shake and shit. So yeah, girl. Shit, I'm trying. You know what? I like part of my fitness goals is my face and my neck, shorty. You see that loose skin on my neck? You can tighten that shit up. Cause when you really work out. And you transform your whole body. If you notice people that are in shape, you can tell it because they face like, damn, yo, your face got muscles on. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to tighten this neck up. They actually got neck exercises. And it's kind of like this. Like this. And then you do like this. And then, you know, it's just like you do each side. And then I think, uh, I think I have to do my research on the exercises. But I think you can get like a chain. And on the chain, because they do it for dogs too, you know, to help the dog's neck. But you get a chain with like, maybe what? However much you can live, because everybody lives different. So you might, like for me, I know I could probably, I don't know. I think I could probably do 20 pounds. Put like a 20 pound, uh, like weight plate on a chain. You put the chain around your neck and you do like this. Yeah, so definitely gotta build that neck strength. Shit. Let me shake this up one last time. Make sure this damn cap on. I'm not trying to take a protein bath, y'all. I ain't trying to take a protein bath. All right. All right, let me see who else coming. Oh, that practice with. That's what I'm saying. Good. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to start my fitness, uh, you know, fitness trainer business until, you know, I'm, I'm where I need to be. Because my thing is whether, I'm training one person or if I'm training multiple people, I want them to look at me as a peer example. Like, yeah, she know what she talking about because it's working for her. Like I'm really like the biggest person on, if it worked for me, most, I'm not going to say all the time, but most likely it will work for you because I'm living it. But when it comes to health and fitness, everybody's body is different. So just because my workout routine 
or my diet plan works for me don't mean it's going to work for you because you got to consider people's health conditions you got to consider where they're at in their fitness journey how much overweight they are like it's a lot to consider and then some people bodies are genetically the way it is like they can work out just to maintain their health but like let's just say a woman right she's naturally big boned so and i was just talking to my homie about this because he was in the army and he said he he was a you know a sergeant and all that stuff so he was training this this hawaiian girl and I think this Hawaiian girl just was naturally big bone and thick. And no matter how much cardio she did, no matter how much muscle training she did, she was not like like slimming down. Cause you know in the military, you gotta take, like you gotta do the measurements and stuff. And if you fail the, the measurement, you know, sometimes you get kicked off for that crap. But my thing is some people are naturally big boned. Like Beyonce. Beyonce, shit, I think she was trying to lose weight, like, real early in her career until she realized she's just naturally thick. So you got to notice about your clients. You can't just assume that because you're in shape or this works for you or you have an easy time eating right that your clients is going to have an easy time eating right. You got to understand your clients and you got to build that rapport and learn their history so that you can make their fitness plan and nutritional goals um tailored to them so let me put some ice in this and then i'm out of here man put some ice in this shit man and then like the the fitness class i took she like to be a true professional fitness trainer they all i have to say they almost know they almost know just as much as a nurse because you gotta learn the biology of the body you gotta learn the the uh muscle makeup the about ligaments how you gotta learn about health conditions what causes this health condition like, you learn a lot when it comes to health. And I'm like, damn, am I applying to be a doctor or a nurse? Because this is a lot of, like, you know, about the body. I mean, it makes sense because it's fitness. It is going to be about the body. But, shoot, the stuff that you're learning, I'm sure that's what these nurses, nurses, and I, was, I wouldn't say doctor because doctor guy probably got to know way more than that. But at least on a nurse level. So, I'm taking my vitamins. This is stem cell stem cell support but you know it's just getting older and they say that stem cells helps to you know combat you can't fully combat but it helps to combat aging and then take my uh what is it len what is it lenore acid this helped with muscle recovery and this is actually like tailored for women so lenore acid to help with my muscles take that and then uh i'm taking some um it's this stuff because i'm trying to maintain my thickness too and i got like this house for thickness and like me because i want to build my glutes because i'm actually i'm actually training to become a glute specialist too i haven't passed i haven't passed the exams yet so i haven't uh passed that yet but i'm learning a lot about the glutes i'm like okay so i can do this to build this so before you know it y'all gonna see my motherfucking ass my motherfucking butt cheeks gonna be sitting on my back shorty and when i walk my shit gonna be like boom boom <laughs> i'm gonna have that i'm gonna build the hell out of these motherfuckers man i'm gonna tell you you can build booty even if you even if i didn't do surgery if i just would and i still can but if i just would have really stayed consistent patient and just stuck with it. I could have naturally built a bigger ass. But I just type of person. When I want something. I want it now. I don't give a fuck what you saying. I want that shit. Give me that shit. I, uh, let me stop. I See I do too much. I'm sorry. But let me take my vitamins so I get out of here. Shit I already took my. um. This is a uh, sea moss. Should I take my CMOS? Um, 
I need to start back, you know, maintaining my fiber. Cause you know, fiber is to be regular. I mean, I'm regular anyway, but I want to make sure I'm really being all the way regular. Cause sometimes you can have a bowel movement and you think you letting everything out and you're not. So let me make sure I got everything. Let me see. Hey Joe, let me see Killer Driller, Mr. Jack. Let me see, Big Hen, Sobos for real. What's up, LeVar? Oh, that Aquarius Sobos. Shit, my birthday coming up. My birthday coming up, buddy. I gotta get my workout bag. I need to put, um, cause I'm still waist training too. I still got some waist training to do. So I think, let me see. I'm looking for my workout bag. Let me see. I think I got my workout bag in my car. Let me see here. Yeah. Oh, here you go. All right. Put up. I need to put on. I need to put on my sweat. My my abdominal sweat um, suit. It's not a suit, but this right here. Cause this helps, you know, to start the metabolism, fat burning. So, you know, I need to put this on and then I need to wrap. I haven't been using my stomach wrap. Let me see. Yeah, I mean, I'ma just do it. I hate, I ain't gonna lie, I hate wearing. Oh, I love y'all too. Thank y'all for the hearts. But I'ma have to get off here though. Cause like what I'ma do, I'ma put, Hold up, give me a sec. So, I'm gonna put this on first so that this is skin to skin and it's touching my skin. Cause what I normally do when I go to the gym, I start my cardio first and whatever body part I'm working for that day, then I do that body part. And if I got the energy and I, I feel like it, I'll, I'll, do, I'll end it with cardio too. And then I'll go home. So if I'm going in there and starting my cardio, I'm trying to sweat. I'm trying to sweat out the toxins, the fat, all that stuff. So I'm going to put this on first. Then I'm going to put my TikTok wrap on. And like the compression of this wrap is going to further, hold up. The compression of the wrap is going to further push in to make my hourglass. So my goal, I mean, my goal is total body transformation. It ain't really no set goal. Cause I mean, when you working out, you have to keep working out. It ain't no just work out. You get to your goal and you done. No, if you're going to maintain health and you're going to maintain a sexy body, this is a lifetime. This is a lifetime of keep going like, uh, uh, you got, uh, uh, and you got to eat right. Out of all that stuff, the number one goal is your diet. Because you can do all this. You can do all this. But if you eat eating a bunch of jelly donuts, you did it for nothing. So put them jelly donuts down. Put them glazed donuts down. Put them uh, sour cream potato chips down. Because you're doing your body and yourself a disjustice unless you don't care. If you don't care, then kudos to you. But I care about my health. I care a lot. <laughs> I get a lot about how I look. Well, health-wise, because y'all know I be dressing in my hair. Be, but I'm just saying, health-wise, I care about how I look. I'm just saying. But I got to get off of here. <laughs> Let me see. Velsa and Flory. Uh, Scuba, Johnny. Hey, uh, Chavar. What is it? Chavaria loves. Hey, sweetheart. Trucker Twins, JT. 601 in the house. We got Omar. We got motherfucking DJ Milkberry Shorty. Motherfucking, uh, let me stop cussing. Thank y'all for the hearts. I love y'all. I gotta go, baby. I'm fine. Oh my god, I'm fine. Oh my god, my big ass head, sorry. <laughs> I'll be like, God damn, mom. <laughs> Look, my head was so big, right? When I was little, thank y'all for the hearts. <laughs> thank y'all for the hearts. But my head was so big, my mother knew I had a big ass head. And, and the hair dude she would send me to school in would be a ponytail and it'd be a big ass bang that was supposed to cover my head. And you know, back in them days, they had uh, 
stove top curlers. You know the stove? I think I got a set of them. Give me a second. Where is my motherfucker? I'll show y'all better. And I can tell y'all every time, every time she would curl my hair, I would get a big ass burn mark right here. And she she would curl it and like, Psst. I'm like, oh, what? Sit your, sit your ass down. I'm like, you burnt me. <laughs> I got to find it. But those stove top hot cones and those stove top curlers, I done had many a head burns and fucking had to put some Vaseline or motherfucking Crisco grease on them burns, ma. Because you trying to hide this big ass head you motherfucking created. You created this shit, not me. <laughs> and when I realized, because y'all know I look just like my dad. And he might not want to admit it, but he got a big ass motherfucking forehead too. <laughs> so I got your head pops. That's fucking wrong. God damn. Look at that shit. Damn, yo. That, woo. <laughs> damn. A motherfucker got a five head. So, it's my head. I don't give a fuck. So what? <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop playing. I ain't afraid. Shit. If it's true, it's true. I got a big ass head. So, ain't. I mean, shit. I ain't. That shit ain't gonna stop me from getting money. Because I got a big ass head. So, the fuck what? Let me see you, Stacey. Sure. We sure will. Yes, we will. Positivity, baby. Gotta manifest what you want out of motherfucking life, shorty. <laughs> Let me stop. I'm about to get off here, y'all. I love y'all, man. I'm, I can't say what I'm going to do, but I'm going to try to check in more. I need to start. I don't know why I don't check in on Instagram. I don't know, but I'm going to start. I done got myself out of the and shit. Jennifer. What's up, Jennifer? Half scale. B-Man trucking, that's what I'm talking about. Pork chop, motherfucker. Pork chop in the house. Widening, Ty Dixon. Uh, Stacy shirt, send him to the Air Force. He got to get a good score on the ASVAB. That would be nice, but I think um, I think he looking towards the Navy or the Marines. Because he want to do, uh, he, what is it? He want to do the, I don't, I don't know why he want to do it. But he said he want to do weapons. He want to do weapons in the field. So basically the field is the front line. I'm like, and so, man, if you want in and get on the front line, you want to have your mama worried? Like, hell, I'm be worried. Because, you know, any parent that got kids in the military, I mean, we glad you're doing well. But that would be a parent's worst fear is to get a phone call that your child got hurt or worst case scenario, your child died from being in combat but i put it in god's hands i pray and i'm i'm the type of parent where as long as it's not bad if it's something positive you want to do i support your decision long as you just trying to get ahead in life that's all i'm saying so yeah text what is it texa thank y'all for the hearts seven true holla Ob obina dean dre short doubt in the world King, oh, we got a lot. Of, we got a lot of people. <laughs> I'm serious, Quest though. Twiz, what is it? Twiz, y'all know. Y'all know. I like to. I like the joke. But all right, so I gotta get off here. I gotta wrap my stomach up. I'm telling y'all, cause I'm telling y'all, I'm about to really. I'm about to really like, like believe that I can make something of becoming a fitness trainer. So, like I said, I gotta be the example. So. I got to stay consistent. I got to clean my diet up. And I, like before you know it, y'all going to see like every, probably every other month or so, y'all going to like, damn, keep it 100 looking different every video post. Yeah, because I'm fucking getting it in, shorty. I'm going fucking getting it. I'm getting it in. <laughs> That's why. Motherfucker going to be sexy. I'm going to be like, I'm going to be like, I'm going to be like, <laughs> shit. You know what? When I finally get that eight pack, if y'all think I'm going to hide my stomach for the hard work I done put in, y'all got me fucked up. Y'all got me fucked up. Ain't nobody, ain't no mother sucking body going to put that hard work in to body transform and hide the body that they worked hard to get. When I transform my body, I mean, I ain't going to be sleazy. I ain't going to be sleazy, but I ain't going to be ashamed to be like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, yeah. Like, I can't really do it now because it's like, it's like, look at this shit. This shit, this shit is not cute. This, this is not, like, this ain't, I mean, it's all right. It's better than what I had, but this shit is not popping. Like, like, look at this shit. Look at this. I'm not feeling this shit. I'm really fucking... I'm just not. This is. I don't know. I take. I take my body serious, man. I take my body serious. I'm serious. But let me get off here and make a DVD sign. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. <laughs> let me see. Theodore Davis. You pronounce it right. Most people say Theodore. Theodore Davis. Blame the friend for the name. Oh, that is that your real name? <laughs> I'm glad I got it right because I thought I had it wrong. What's our seven truths? Show F. What's our show, F. Heidi? We got the Heidi in the house. Azuma. Azuma. That, look at my boo. <laughs> you had a good day, huh? Yeah, man. I'm glad to be home, man. Shit. Yeah, I'm about to go to the gym. You want to go? Nah, I'm good. Well, I'm about to hit it. Well, all right, y'all. Let me get up off here. I finally been checked into Instagram, shorty. And I'm going to start checking in more. I need to. But I enjoyed y'all time. So y'all have a beautiful day. All right, y'all. Deuces, baby. Deuces.